What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. You all seem to enjoy the How to Beat Xerneas video so much that I actually decided, you know what, you guys probably want to know how to beat Zacian as well, so today's guide is going to be going over that. And while Zacian and Xerneas do have a lot of overlap in the Pokemon that check them, this video will have a lot of repeats from the Xerneas video, but I'll be talking about the Zacian matchup in particular, so you will be learning something new here. Uh, and yeah. Also, these Pokemon, while they will give you a better matchup versus Zacian, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, the player that plays better, has better board positioning, knows their matchup well, knows their damage calcs, will be the one coming out on top. But these Pokemon will make you have a better matchup and will allow you to have more leeway in beating the Zacian player. So keep that in mind. These won't give you an auto win, but they'll help you out a lot. Before we get into the video, do me a favor, leave a like on it if you enjoyed it at any point in time. Uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content and answer my comment question of the day. What Pokemon are you going to be using on your team to beat Zacian? And let's try to shoot for 200 likes today. We've been on like a, a streak where I've been hitting 200 likes on every video and I really appreciate that. It helps the channel grow so much. Every like, comment, interaction just pushes me into the algorithm and grows the community. So yeah, let's go ahead and start off with some tools that you just need to know about when it comes to beating Zacian, and that's actually gonna be speed control tools. Now these Pokemon don't directly beat Zacian themselves, but they're important in your, I guess your quest to beating Zacian, they're important in your matchup. So the first speed control Pokemon I'm gonna list is Regieleki. Regieleki is phenomenal, it has base 200 speed and base 100 special attack, which while that special attack might not seem very high, when you combo it with the ability Transistor, which gives it a 50% boost on its attacking stat when you use an electric move, uh, actually means it hits like a truck, especially with moves like Electroweb, which is gonna be its most important tool for beating Zacian. So like I said, base 200 speed is incredibly high and will of course outspeed Zacian, allowing you to hit it with an Electroweb Grant, granting you just a little bit of damage on the Zacian overall, but the main point of the Electrobe is going to be to lower its speed stat and with dynamic speed mechanics, allow whatever other Pokemon on your team uh, that can outspeed the Zacian at minus one, grant, you know, you EV'd correctly, to outspeed it and either, you know, land a devastating hit or just straight up KO it. So that's going to be really important. Uh, Regieleki is just great for speed control overall and its high damage output means that even if you don't have another Pokemon on the team capable of dealing with Zacian in that particular situation, you're still gonna be able to hit it with a very powerful Thunderbolt or Volt Switch, and maybe even just deal with it with Regieleki. I think that if you're running like timid max special attack Regieleki, uh, you might just be able to two-shot Zacian with Thunderbolt. Don't quote me on that, but I'm relatively sure it does enough. So yeah, uh, next Pokemon I'm gonna list is Tornadus. Now Tornadus is really common on a lot of teams, but especially Kyogre teams. Now. Tornadus has the ability Prankster and access to the move Tailwind, which will mean that uh, Tornadus will be able to boost its partner's speed stats uh, for three whole turns instantly. And with dynamic speed mechanics, Pokemon like Kyogre will be able to outspeed Pokemon like Zacian and land a powerful water spout, probably just one-shotting it if you're running like Mystic Water or something. Uh, but yeah, Tornadus is really important for that. He's also able to shut down Zacian by preventing substitutes and swords dance by going for taunt, or you can even just pre prevent uh, future protects by going for taunt, which is really good because Zacian tends to, because it's like such a valuable tool and such a powerful tool, uh, the opponent will almost always run either substitute or protect on it to ensure that they can get it in at the right position and just, you know, score KOs. So if you're able to prevent those tools from being used, that's absolutely incredible in your matchup. But with that out of the way, uh, these two speed control Pokemon, let's go ahead and get into the Zacian checks. Now, first up is going to be Volcarona. Obviously, Volcarona was in the Xerneas video because it has Whirlwind and Resist Moonblast and can beat Xerneas from that. But in regards to its Zacian matchup, you can use the same stat spread of 92 HP, 164 Special Attack, and 252 Speed. And by running tools like Heat Wave or Will-O-Wisp and just having Flame Body on this Pokemon, you're able to resist both of Zacian's powerful moves being Sacred Sword and uh, Behemoth Blade and have a chance to burn them just on contact. But, you know, Will-O-Wisp also being an option means that you can just directly burn the Zacian. Well, not directly, you have 85 accuracy and Aaron Zhang knows the pain of that move. But being able to burn that Zacian permanently is incredible because what it will do is cut, that Zacian uh, cut the Zacian's damage output permanently for the rest of the game. Having its attack set, essentially, it doesn't have the attack set. I think it has the power of its moves, but that will allow you to more easily beat the Zacian since it's not as big of a threat. 
On top of that, if you're running just Heat Wave, you'll be able to two-shot the Zacian pretty easily. Or if you want to just absolutely annihilate it, absolutely just incinerate it, you can go ahead and run uh, Overheat for the one-shot. But yeah, Volcarona is a very powerful tool. Just the burn spreading, the support of Rage Powder, uh, just the fire type moves makes it very, very uh, important for beating Zacian on many teams. And it's actually really common on Xerneas teams themselves because Xerneas plus Volcarona will allow you to not only check the Zacian, but redirect its hits and allow uh, Xerneas to do its business. So yeah. Next up, we have Incineroar. Once again, a repeat from the previous video. We're running 236 HP, 36 defense, and 236 special defense. My particular spread that I like to run is Sassy Nature with zero speed IVs because I do appreciate getting off a slow parting shot, allowing myself to get the better board positioning in most situations. But Incineroar is important for beating Zacian because, once again, it is a fire type and it's able to resist Behemoth Blade, but the Intimidate will also lower the damage output of Zacian, which is really important because Zacian's ability grants it a free plus one on switching in. So Intimidate basically nullifies that, and if you go for an Intimidate, you know, by switching in the Incineroar and then parting shotting the Zacian, it will make it so you can get in and out in the field while lowering its damage output consistently. So yeah, Fake Out's also a really important tool for preventing Zacian. Uh, from attacking and just allowing a partner Pokemon to do whatever it needs to do, whether it's set up Trick Room or hit the Zacian directly. Uh, it's going to allow you a lot of uh, opportunities to just get what you need done on the field. Uh, of course, this spread is able to check both Zacian and, um, and Xerneas by just, you know, tanking hits. Uh, but this, th this spread in particular will be able to pretty easily tank a Sacred Sword and then go down to Figgy Berry range and get its health back. And then you can just, you know, spam Flare Blitz under Trick Room, whatever you need to do, just get in and out with Parting Shot. It's really, there's there's really not much nuance to how Incinera beats Zacian, but it's mainly just uh, Intimidate, Intimidate Fire type. Get in and out, Parting Shot, do what you need to do, lower the damage output, or just go for Flare Blitz. Either way, uh, Incinera is just a great answer for Zacian on your team. Next up, we have Ho-Oh. This is going to be the final repeat from the Xerneas video, but ho -Oh, once again is an extremely bulky Pokemon, and having that fire typing means it's going to be able to absolutely tank Behemoth Blades from Zacian. If you max out this thing's HP and max out its attack, it's pretty much fine to do what it needs to do. Uh, Regenerator will mean that any damage it might take from Zacian is going to be able to just be brushed off by switching in and out and recovering one third of your health. But I'd say one of the greatest tools that this thing has access to is going to be Sacred Fire. Now, Sacred Fire is a base 100 fire type move that is physical and has 95% accuracy, but it also has a 50% chance to burn. So let's say that Zacian is invested in bulk, or if your Ho-Oh got intimidated and you're not able to one-shot it with Sacred Fire, which you probably not going to be able to anyways because, you know, Zacian is pretty decent defense, uh, but it will do a lot of damage. So let's say you don't one-shot it. The Zacian has a 50% chance to just be completely crippled for the rest of the game. That burn is going to half the damage output of its moves and make it so it's no longer as valuable of a tool as it used to be. So essentially, Ho-Oh has just a 50% chance of, if it doesn't one-shot the Zacian, just make it not useful anymore. <laughs> so that's really big. And like I said, it's also a Xerneas counter, so it has a lot of value. There's a lot of roll compression in these first three Pokemon because it's able to whirlwind the uh, the Xerneas out. It's able to whirlwind out Trick Room users, do a lot of things, and Brave Bird is just a generally powerful move on it coming off a of base 130 attack. So yeah, Ho-Oh is a very good Pokemon for beating Zacian. And while I would say that Ho-Oh is harder to fit on a team because it is, of course, a restricted Pokemon, um, it is still a very good Pokemon to build around in the format. So you can probably, if you're tired of losing the Zacian, Maybe just run a Ho-Oh team, <laughs> but you know, if you don't want to waste your restricted slot, the rest of the Pokemon on this list should be fine to, uh, for helping you beat Zacian. Next up on the list is going to be a pretty interesting Pokemon. Um, it's not going to be Landorus Therian. While Landorus Therian does actually beat Zacian if you have like Tailwind and stuff and Intimidate's really useful, um, I decided to actually put a different Pokemon on this list, and that's going to be Landorus Incarnate. Landorus Incarnate is a very, very powerful special attacker because it now has access to its ability Sheer Force, which makes it so any move with a positive secondary chance of happening, like Earth Power with that 10% chance to lower the target special defense by one stage, those moves don't have that chance of happening anymore, but they do have a 30% boost in power in exchange for that, which comboed with Life Orb, which if Sheer Force is activated, Life Orb doesn't actually give you any chip damage, will boost that by an additional 30%. So essentially you have a life orb stacked on top of a life orb whenever you use a move like earth power or sludge bomb. So obviously with such high damage output, you're just one shotting Zacian. But this Pokemon is going to be one of those Pokemon that you need to have speed control 
uh, to beat the Zacian. So it's going to love being next to Tornadus. It's going to be love being next to, it's going to love being next to Regieleki. It really needs that speed control to get going. But it also has some roll compression because it will be able to deal with other very powerful restricted Pokemon with its sheer force moves. Sludge Bomb is going to be able to deal insane damage to Xerneas despite not being a stab move. Earth Power, once again, is great for beating uh, any Steel types like Zacian or uh, Necrozma or Solgaleo if you see that. But it also has access to Grass Knot, which could be useful for beating Groudon and Kyogre. While they aren't Sheer Force boosted, they are base 120 Grass type moves that do have that Life Orb boost on them. So it's going to be devastating damage. I think you deal like 70% to Kyogre if it has 4 HP. So yeah. Landorus is a great Pokemon right now, and I think it's going to pick up in usage, and it's a nice tool for beating Zacian if you're having some trouble versus it. But once again, it does need that speed control. The last Pokemon on this list might actually surprise you, and it's a Pokemon that I found to be very useful not only for roll compression, but also for just being able to switch in on and take hits from, uh, from Zacian. This Pokemon is a Raquinid. It's a Water Bug type, which means it resists both uh, Close Combat Sacred Sword and Behemoth Blade. Uh, and its ability Water Bubble makes it so its water type moves get doubled in power, it can't be burned, and it actually resists fire moves, despite being half bug type. Uh, it has access to Wide Guard for actually blocking things like Electro Web or uh, Rock Slide or even Water Spout from opposing Kyogres, so that's really useful. And its bulk lends it to being able to check both Zacian and Xerneas. So this spread that I have here is 252 HP, 68 attack, 116 defense, and one, or not 132, um, and 68 special defense with a sassy nature and zero speed IVs. So what does this spread do? Well, this spread is able to tank a Xerneas Moonblast at plus two, which isn't the point of this, but it can still do it. But it's also only going to take from a plus one Zacian, an unintimidated Zacian, a Zacian that has that Intrepid Sword boost. It's only taking 49% maximum from Behemoth Blade. And guess how much you do back to it with this liquidation? You're going to be doing 50% minimum, meaning it's a clean two shot on Zacian. And if Incineroar comes in, it's not taking that hit. That Mystic Water Liquidation is going to be doing insane damage to Incineroar. So there aren't very many switch ins to Araquanid, all things considered. This thing's damage output's so crazy. Like, if Kyogre hits the field and you hit it with a Liquidation, I think that might also be a two shot despite being resisted, mainly because of that rain boost. But yeah. Araquanid is a phenomenal Pokemon. I think it's going to pick up in usage. And this spread, even though like it's weak to Regieleki, like I said, it blocks Electroweb, and it can actually pretty easily tank a Thunderbolt or a Volt Switch, I believe. Um, it's kind of close. It depends on if they're running like Magnet or not. But it's still able to tank that hit, so that's insane. I think Araquanid just being able to wall out Zacian and deal devastating damage to it is really big, and I find it just very useful for roll compression once again. So yeah. That's going to be my list of a couple of Pokemon that you can be using to beat Zacian, so let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Once again, you're going to have to play effectively to use these Pokemon to beat Zacian. It's not just an auto win, but I have faith in you guys. You can learn to use these Pokemon well and beat Zacian. So yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.